Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooklyn and I am currently 25 weeks and six days pregnant with a baby boy. This video is going to be my weeks 22 through 25 pregnancy update. So if you're interested to see what's been happening over the past couple weeks, then just keep watching and we'll jump right into the video. If you watched my last update, then you know that we were scheduled to go back to finish our anatomy scan because they couldn't get a couple pictures of his heart during our first one that they needed. So week 22 started with that. We went to the doctors and we had that anatomy scan done. She just needed two pictures, like I said, of his heart and what should have taken 10 minutes literally took almost an hour. She Got the first picture probably within the first 20 minutes, um, but she could not get the second one and he was being so stubborn. So I was obviously laying on my back and he was laying face down on my spine um, and she like needed him to roll over and he wouldn't do it. I got up, I did like jumping jacks, I was bending over, I was coughing, like I was doing everything to try and get him to roll and he would like kick us and stuff and move, but he wouldn't like roll into a different position. So he was being super stubborn and um, she ended up being able to get the last picture because I rolled onto my side and she had been doing it for a little bit and I, she said something and I laughed and whenever I laughed, the valve like opened up and she got the exact picture she needed. So she was able to get it that way but I did not get to see his face. I didn't get to see his profile. I was really hoping to be able to get like a 3D image of him and see him in 3D. And no the little stinker hit his face the entire time. Cooper is saying hi. You gonna lay down? We only got one ultrasound picture and if you follow me on Instagram then you saw it. That is on my highlights. So I'll have my Instagram here and you can go check it out. But it's just of his nose and his lips and that's all we could see. He literally hid his entire face the whole time. So. I have got one picture from that appointment. She also remeasured him during that ultrasound because if you remember from my last video, he was measuring really big. He was in like the 95th percentile and measuring a week ahead. So she went ahead and did all of his remeasurements and he was looking much better. He was down to like the 75th percentile and was right on track and everything looked great. So we came to the conclusion that he just had like a huge growth spurt right before that 18 week anatomy scan and that he's just leveled out now and hopefully I don't burr the linebacker. Everything else from that appointment went great. We went ahead and scheduled my next one, which is actually on Tuesday, and it is my glucose test. So I'm not looking forward to that at all. Let's go ahead and jump into symptoms. So one of like the biggest symptoms that I'm starting to notice is that it is getting really, really hard to sleep at night. Um, the whole idea of just being able to lay on your left side to sleep on your left side every single night all night long is just annoying to me because i want laying on my back is like the most comfortable but that's like the most dangerous because you can cut off the blood supply to baby and same with your right side it's not as safe to lay on your right side as it is your left side so i like toss and turn all night long because i'm just not comfortable on my left side and my body parts start going numb laying on my left side all night long and it's just getting really really hard to get a good night's sleep especially mixed with the fact that i get up to pee like a million times in the middle of the night i mean i get up and go and before i even get back to bed i feel like i have a full bladder again and i don't it's literally nothing it's just the baby on my bladder so Sleep has been getting very difficult. I just broke out my pregnancy pillow. I've had my pregnancy pillow since like 12 weeks pregnant. Um, my mother-in-law bought it for me, but I just broke it out this past week and I've been using it and it's helping a little bit, but it's just still really hard to stay on one side all night long. And going along with that, I am really starting to notice that it's getting hard to do a lot of things. Um, just getting out of the bed is getting difficult and getting up and just like moving and stuff it's just it's all getting hard so much harder than like i anticipated and i feel like it happened really fast from weeks like 24 to 25 like things just really changed a lot 
Also, if you follow me on social media, then you know that we just got back from vacation. We did go to Canada up to like the Banff National Park area to Lake Louise and Moraine Lake and places like that. And we were there my entire 24th week of pregnancy. And I knew that I was going to come home and be like, oh my gosh. Because we stayed in a little cabin and there was no full length mirror anywhere. So you couldn't see yourself. And I had told David, I said, I'm going to come home. I'm going to see my reflection in the mirror. And I'm going to be like, where did this come from? Because your body changes so much in one week. And I feel like from week 24 to 25, like my body did some serious changing. Like my belly grew I mean that my baby grew <laughs> so um we did a lot while we were there if you watch my vlogs then you know that we hiked up a mountain 7,300 feet up a mountain six miles and um, I'm six months pregnant I was the only pregnant person on the mountain but I did it and um I'm really proud of myself for that we had a lot of fun uh, we did a lot of like hiking and I mean, I had no problems at all. I couldn't walk the next day because my calves were so sore. But, like, as far as pains and stuff, I was totally fine. And then traveling was so hard. On the way home, oh, my gosh, it was pure torture. It was literally torture. On the plane, I was having, like, I don't know if it was around ligament pain or what it was, but it was so bad during takeoff and then you're just sitting in a seat and it's uncomfortable. We had a two and a half hour drive to the airport and then a four hour flight to Nashville and then a two and a half hour drive home and it was just a very long day of traveling and on the way home my back was hurting so bad. I mean I was almost in tears because my back was hurting so bad. So. We got home super late and just went straight to bed and then I've been working all week. But I did get home and when I looked in the mirror, seriously, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, like my belly button is disappearing. It is literally disappearing. It's going to pop out any day now. I just know it. And I feel like my bump is just so much bigger. Are you sneezing? Bless you. Bless you! Bless you! <laughs> Cooper's got a case of the sneezes. So yeah, anyways, everything's just getting harder and more painful. And then um, another symptom that I've been experiencing and have been experiencing is acid reflux. It's not going away. It's sticking around. Um, I find if I have my absolute favorite food in the entire world, which is pizza, it makes it really bad so um that sucks but i'm just hoping that he has a lot of hair because i can do the acid reflux if that means he's gonna come out with a head full of hair i'm totally okay with it <laughs> comment down below if you had acid reflux and your baby came out with a head full of hair because that's what my fingers are crossed for <laughs> Okay, so the next one is totally straight from an app, and it is so true, but from it's starting in week 25, 24 and 25, the constipation and the gas is, like, so real. He, I feel like he's so low, and I feel like I get so many, like, gas pains just because he is, like, blocking everything. Like, I, he's just, he's on top of me, and he just, he needs to come up and relieve his mom. So... That has been a true symptom of weeks 24 and 25, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, let me see what else I have on here. Oh, also in weeks 24 and 25, I had people for the first time actually be brave enough to make a comment to me about being pregnant. Um, so... I'm starting to, I guess, look like really pregnant to where people are comfortable making comments about me being pregnant. <laughs> so that's another thing that I have here is that I'm, people are confronting me about being pregnant. Um, and then a few other things that I have like just noticed, I don't know when they actually started happening, but it's something to note. 
I just realized that I have not had a breakout in a really, really long time. I know in one of my updates, I was still breaking out, but I feel like once that cleared up, like I have not had any acne at all in my skin. Like usually I'm extremely oily and I'll get a few zits here and there. Um, but my skin has not been oily and I have not had any acne whatsoever. And then along with the oil, my hair is usually one day and it's a grease pit and that's not the case anymore. The hair definitely is not as oily as it was like before I got pregnant. So those are just like two things I wanted to note that have definitely improved during pregnancy. And then also my boobs like no longer hurt or are engorged and I'm not sure when that stopped either. I know that I mentioned it in a previous update that they were like still engorged. Um, but my boobs are totally like normal now, except for your nipples, because you know, those go to shit whenever you get pregnant and they totally change. Okay, so let's go to cravings. I would not say I've had like a ton of cravings this pregnancy. I've definitely had at times where I'm like, oh, that sounds really good. Like the ramen noodles, I ate those for a couple weeks because they sounded good, but I wouldn't say I like craved them. Um, and then what else have I eaten? I go on like spurts where I eat things, but it's not that I'm necessarily craving them. Um, I did have one legit craving though, where I was like, I need this and like, I need it now. And it was the most random thing ever. It was the frosted animal crackers with the sprinkles on them. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but they're in like a white bag with, that looks like aluminum kind of, um, it's like silvery white. I needed those. And we went to three different stores looking for them. And then when I got them, they weren't even, they weren't even that great. They weren't even as good as like I remembered. But I would say that was a craving because I like needed it. As far as weight gain goes, in my last update, I think I was at like 10 to 11 pounds of weight gain. And currently at basically 26 weeks, I'm at about 13 to 14 pounds weight gain. And honestly, I think if I could um, go to the bathroom, I could lose about two pounds because from vacation and stuff, I'm like so backed up. And I gained like, three pounds on vacation. This week, just a couple other things that, that have happened. David and I did go to Target and do our baby registry. And oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I could not control myself. It was the first time that I like did a registry with and actually in the store with one of like the guns. I literally scanned everything. Like I need everything. <laughs> but we did that and that was so much fun. I loved it. Plus I highly recommend that you go register at Target because you get like a free baby bag of stuff. Um, so we did that. We also started on the nursery this week and I am so excited. So I'm actually sitting in the nursery, which used to be my beauty room, which used to be pink and we have officially painted it. So the pink walls are gone. Praise the Lord because them pink walls, they drove me absolutely crazy. I could not stand them. So we have started on the nursery. It's completely painted. We have a few more things to do to the walls and we have ordered his nursery furniture and that should be here within the next couple weeks. And then we're really going to get started on decorating and getting everything set up and put up. I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and insert a belly shot. Okay. So here is my belly at 25 weeks and six days. Definitely looking rego. And like I said, I feel like my belly button is just disappearing. This is what we're looking like. And the baby has hiccups all the time and you can see them. He moves around. That's another thing I forgot to mention. He moves and rolls like still 24 seven and he gets the hiccups at least like twice a day. I mean, it's the weirdest thing ever, but this is my belly. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram. That is where I am most up-to-date and most active. I'll leave my Instagram name here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.